In today's episode, we are diving into something super exciting. Two-way communication between UV dots and the ESP32. Imagine not just sending data from your ESP32 to the cloud, but also controlling your devices remotely all in real time. It's been five years since I last used the UV dots IoT platform. A few days ago, I used UV dots for a project and when I tested one of my old projects, its code showed an error. It seems a lot has changed in these five years. So in 2025, how do we use UV dots for monitoring and controlling? And which libraries do we need to install? I will explain all of this in today's video. So without any further delay, let's get started. I'm going to use this ESP32 development board. This is the same development board I used with the Sim 7600G 4G LTE module. In that video, I explained the circuit diagram and its assembly. So make sure to watch it. The reason I selected this development board is that it already has a relay, which I'm going to use to control a 110 or 220 volt AC bulb. For the relay connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. First, download these two libraries from the UV.Dot's official website. Then open the latest version of the Arduino IDE. Before installing the required libraries, you need to first install the ESP32 board in the Arduino IDE. To do this, go to the file menu and then to preferences. Copy the link from our website and paste it into the additional board's manager URLs. Next, click on the board's manager and search for ESP32. Make sure to install the one by expressive systems. As you can see, I have already installed it. To verify that the ESP32 board is installed in the Arduino IDE, go to the Tools menu, navigate to Board, then ESP32, and you will see all the variants of the ESP32. The one I'm using is the ESP32 Dev module. If you're using a different ESP32 board, simply select it from the list. Finally, go ahead and install the required libraries. As you can see, I have already installed this library, so I will click the cancel button. Now, let's move on and work with UV dots. While you are logged into your UV dots account, go to the data menu and then click on the dashboards. On the left side, you can see these three lines. Click on these lines. Click the Create button to add a new dashboard. Let's name it Home Automation. Let's keep everything else to their default values. Once you learn the basics, then you can come back and play with all these properties. Anyway, let's click the Save button. Our Home Automation dashboard is ready. Now, go to the Devices menu and click on Devices. Click the plus button to create a new device. Click on Blank Device. Now, go to the Arduino program and copy the device label Home Automation and paste it in the two boxes. The device label should exactly match the device label set in the Arduino code. Once the device name and device label are set, then click the Next button. You can see a new device with the name Home Automation has been created. Let's open this device. Right now, there are zero variables because I have not yet uploaded the program into the ESP32 because I needed this token. So let's copy this token and paste it in the program next to the UV dots token. You can download this code from my website electronicclinic.com. Now let's upload the program. Let's refresh the page. Now you can see the counter variable. Let's also create a variable for controlling the relay. But this go back to the Arduino IDE and copy this. Click on the plus button to add a new variable. The two variables counter and relay one are ready. Now go to the data menu and click on the dashboards. 
Make sure the home automation dashboard is selected. If not, you can click on these three lines and select the home automation dashboard from the list. While the home automation dashboard is selected, click over here to add a new widget or you can also click this plus button at the top right corner. You can see there are so many widgets, but now let's add a gauge for displaying the counter value. Click on the plus add variables. Click on the home automation. You can see the two variables. Since we want to display the counter value on the gauge, so we are going to select the counter variable. On the appearance tab, you can name the gauge widget, you can change the font, and most importantly, you can specify the range. For now, 0 to 100 range looks just fine. Once you are done with the settings, click the save button. Great, a gauge has been added to the dashboard, but it doesn't make any sense. Let's change its name. Now it looks better. Now let's add a switch for controlling a relay. The steps are exactly the same. Our dashboard is now ready and it's looking great. You can already see the counter value displayed in real time on the gauge. It updates instantly giving you live data feedback, but that's not all. Check out this button right here. It's not just for show. With a single click, we can control the relay, turning it on or off with ease. Imagine the possibilities using this dashboard. You are not limited to just one application. You can monitor sensor data like temperature, humidity, or motion, and at the same time, control different types of loads, be it lights, fans, or even appliances right from your phone or computer. And the best part, you can do all of this from anywhere in the world. Whether you are sitting at home, traveling, or even halfway across the globe, this dashboard keeps you connected and in control. How cool is that? So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you. And next episode, and thanks for watching.